Ah, oh, there are. Anything? Yeah. Embarrassing. <laughs> it's all right. It's just good to get the two points. Um, boys put in 100% effort. Credit to the boys. Credit to the boys. I just think uh, I thought it was a really, um, really well fought out game between both teams. To be honest, thought it was um, a lot of live ball back and forth there. Most of it was played in the midfield, and you know, I thought it was a really good contest. How impressed were you with how they opened that first half up through the middle? Yeah, yeah. I think if if you if you create some ruck speed there, Brandon's gonna. He's going to go and create some opportunities. I was really, uh, you know, the support of these guys, and you know, we ended up getting some momentum there to to, to get it to a good halftime score, and then, um, yeah, just resumed in the second half. So uh, that was good. Joey Manu clocked over 300 tonight. Yeah. I mean, you you come to expect that when he gets that number one jersey. Yeah, yeah. He's always going to touch the ball at the start of the set, and then at the end of the set, and then when it's needed. So, yeah. Happier this week, Luke? A little bit, yeah. No, it's good. I was proud, proud of the boys. Like, we turned up, good attitude. Thought the middles laid a real good platform for us, and then um, we finished it off at the end, which was which was nice. Trent, obviously the Knights were managing the longer injury during that first half. Yeah. How much attention do you pay to something like that when it's a player of his stature on the opposite side? So, yeah, obviously there were, it was tough to get to it in the first half, but we talked about it at half time. But it looks as though he, you know, he possibly had it looked after at half time. Looked as though he, he sort of moved well. So we discussed what we might do if it, if he still was carrying it. Um, but uh, yeah, he he moved very well in the second half. Trent, um, you've talked at length about Michael's milestone. You've said that a lot of people have different opinions, but from where you stand, could you just talk about him leading it? leading the team out today with his kids and, and sort of what you felt there. Yeah, really proud, as I've said, really proud. You know, he could lead his kids out there and, you know, I think he's the first Tongan to play 300 games there, yeah, so. Look, um, we saw the scenes at the end there, everyone crowding around. Django, what does it mean for the playing group? It's, it's good, nice. mate, just, um, just the way, this, way we've seen him come back, fight really hard for a place in the squad and he's such a, it's been such a good influence on the squad. Um, I think we were talking about him yesterday. It's not just his comeback. He played 298 games before that. He was the best centre in the world for a period there. Um, he's represented his people from out west, from Tonga. So um, just super proud of him, super proud um, of his career. And then see how he's, how he's fought back. To see his kids, kids tonight and his family yesterday was special. Obviously, had a similar milestone for Jared earlier in the yep. season, and you guys were talking about having some of the old roosters come in and sharing stories. What were the, what were the celebrations like for Michael this week? <clears throat> yeah, same sort of thing, mate. We just paid tribute to them, and we had Frankie Paul in there tonight. He's up here, so yeah, it's just another special night. I've seen Jared a couple of weeks ago, and then Janko tonight. And you still, you still um, uh, impressed by, by what Tupo does for you on that, on that wing, though. It's just especially in Newcastle and against the Knights over the years, he's had a pretty good track record. Has he, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, what, what, I thought um, both Joe, Sue and, and Toops there, along with, with Te um, Joey at the back, um, they really started our sets well. But right from the start, I think his first carry was OK, but then from second on, he, he ended up making uh, a lot of post-contact metres. Um, obviously, having to score those tries, some some angle changes, it was just um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Just keeps going, Toops, keeps going. What did you like about Hackney's game again tonight? Yeah, thought he was physical. Obviously, uh, made some meters there. Um, so yeah, like a lot of guys, created ruck speed. Were you worried at all that um, Brandon was going to get a penalty for holding Kalen down in that very last moment? No. How's it going, Trent? Yeah, he's a, he's got a head knot, category one, so thanks. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. 
not about the highlights, action, seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast, get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour, grab a seat on the couch for that, and of course my favourite, Freddie and the Ape. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm, subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.